Hi besties. So we are literally about to go out. I don't know how the sound is or whatever in here, but what I do get ready with me. Just me drinking my hot chalk. I've just come out of the shower. I got my pajamas on. My little cutie pajamas. And I'm drying my hair currently, letting it dry. We've just come back from Typhoon Lagoon. So that vlog should already be up by now. But yeah, I've just prepped my skin and stuff ready for tonight. We are going to Magic Kingdom. So getting ready for that. I'm really excited. It is our last night. We're watching Happily Ever After. So hopefully the sound's okay. But I thought I'd just quickly show you my little get ready with, with me like routine. And I'm very flattered because quite a lot of people have messaged me or like asked just to see what I do. Now I'm not going to lie. I'm not like... I wouldn't say like I'm a pro at makeup. I have worked in jobs with makeup before, but like I'm not like professional or whatever. I just love playing with makeup. I love doing my own little thing. I feel like I probably do work, I'm not gonna say the heaviest or on the heavy side, but you know, in the Florida heat, it can sometimes get a bit hot. So I feel like right now my makeup, what I've brought this year has been like perfect. It stayed on. It just depends, like today at the parks, we went to Typhoon Lagoon and I didn't use my water resistant ones. I just literally popped on a little bit of the flawless filter on my face and a bit of bronzer and whatnot. And then it came off instantly within the water. But I've noticed when I do different things, like different steps in the heat and water, it doesn't come off. So yeah, I thought I'd show you today. Just a quick one, I've got my ears on just so it can take my face back. I've already prepped my skin, so I am going to show you everything, like literally I do day and night. This is literally all the same, except from sometimes I'll add a few steps, sometimes I won't. So yeah, without further ado, let's get onto this video. So, hot chocolate break. Oh yeah, so I'm currently balancing you on a popcorn bucket and my LMS Pro Collagen Balm. I'll show you. So this is literally what I'm looking at right now. So for nighttime, I do use this to take off. That's Scott's, by the way. Just ignore that. But yeah, I use this to take off my makeup. It is the best. Sometimes I'll even, if I need my skin feels like it needs an extra boost of hydration or whatever, I'll leave this on overnight. We also have this, which is another thing I absolutely love. So I'd wash my face with this, and then sometimes I'd use this as a face mask. But nine times out of ten, when I'm coming back from the parks, this is what I take my makeup off with. I actually don't wash my face when I wake up in the morning. The first thing I will do, because you can overwash your face, so I mainly just wash my face at night time. At night time, I don't need to wash my face during the day, if that makes sense. I will just skip putting any product on. I put some water on my face, just plain cold water to wake me up. And then I will go and use this, which is the Smooth and Glow. I've got a big one at home, but I just got this cute little travel size. It helps me in the morning. So I'll use this, and this is exactly what I've done just then, coming out of the shower. Then an eye cream, and then I will add my Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'll sometimes, depending on what I want, I'll do this t uh, by Terry Brightening CC Serum. It is a CC cream and a serum at the same time. This is currently what I've got on my face right now. This gives me like a healthy glow. I don't even know where to go, but yeah, if you can see, it just gives me like this healthier, healthier glow. And if I want like a day where it's more lighter, then this is what I'll use like today. I will use these two together. Highly recommend this Charlotte Tilbury Fault, Lowless Filter. I think I'm gonna try it with a BB cream um, when I get back. Before I put the CC cream on, I usually use this as a sun cream. I've not tonight, because obviously it's evening, but I highly recommend this. This has already got a tint in, and I can't recommend this enough. This is like incredible. I have very sensitive eyes, so anything like a usual factor 50 or whatever, or 30, whatever you use, sun cream, it makes my eyes water like mad. If I get anything anywhere near my eyes, like even around here, like I'm not exactly right near my eyes, I'll still end up crying. This, however, since using this, especially with it being a tint as well, it's really good. I feel like you could even go to the parks with just this on. And if you want to put a bit of makeup on, maybe add 
the flawless filter on top. I actually genuinely love this. These two go very well together because this is already tinted. But yeah, I'd highly recommend that. But tonight I skipped that product because it is the evening. And then I've just added some Sol Janeiro butter on my lips and I love this stuff so much. So now my skin's very much prepped. I've already done my eyebrows just off camera. What I've used just to speed the process up is this Revolution one. I've got it in the shade brown, I think it is, or brunette. Medium brown. Um, and this is what it looks like. So good. It's got like a little brush on the end and then it's very much like that, really. So getting on to my makeup, the first thing that I will do depending so i've already put the cc serum on tonight just because of i don't know sometimes it gives me like that little bit of an extra glow and that's what i like so that's what i've added on this is my new love now i'm gonna pop some of this on but let me tell you this is amazing you just do not need a lot whatsoever i'm literally popping the smallest amount if you can see and i just do that especially when it's hot just think of the florida heat with how hot it is you definitely don't need a lot. This is going to last me so long because of how it's very full coverage. So I just mix it in with a little beauty blender. And because I put the tiniest pea amount on, it just covers my face up. And with this, it's also sweat proof. It's waterproof. I did put this on on purpose today because I didn't really want my makeup to stay on. Hence, because I was doing this. But yeah, this is really, really good absolutely love this but you just do not need a lot it can get thick if you put a lot on so definitely just use the tiniest i'm not even going to say a pea drop whatever smaller than a pea <laughs> like i feel like a pea is quite big whatever i just did just then i feel like that's all you need for this you can make it a bit cakey otherwise hopefully it's not too bad lighting let's just see i'll show you like the proper finished result afterwards but yeah it, it just makes me have a nice glow as well and then over the top of it i'll add my favorite so i actually really love these two together just on my neck because i'm not really tanned my neck but yeah it gives my skin a nice glow and then just to cover my under eyes i use this so if you're wanting like a lightweight one i just use mainly this for coverage because this is more coverage than this one but if you're wanting to have a light weight look definitely get the flawless filter because it's my favorite and i'd probably mix it with one of your favorite like bb creams or something like that if you even have a bb cream that's your favorite if not go find one because i think that's what i'm going to do as well because i feel like a bb cream it'll have the coverage but it'll also be lightweight as well because this i have to really use such a light weight and to be honest it was quite expensive as it is so it's gonna last me a while so it's kind of worth it also if you're very oily and you don't want to like look i like the like glowy look even add powder you can do that just basically put in a little bit at a time i'm gonna say on and that's what i do like i feel like this is this has actually covered my face exactly how like I like it. So this is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I use the shade Fur. So number one in this. It's one of them ones that you just push up. Charlotte Tilbury again. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury so much. And then just to set my under eyes, I use the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury again. And I'll just add a little bit here for underneath my eyes and this just helps to set what I've just used basically and I find it's just so nice and lightweight like it brightens my under eyes it makes me feel like I am awake <laughs> and because I have an oily t-zone even though I like it thingy I just put a little bit of powder on my nose so this is the airbrush flawless finish this is in two medium and I just literally pop a little bit on my nose. I don't do it anywhere else. I just pop a little bit on my nose and maybe on my T-zone a little bit. To bronze my face up, I'm using the Physician's Formula. It is in the shape Deep Bronze. Never tried this before. We actually came out here. I got it on purpose just to try it. Hoping that I like it. <sighs> it's 
smells so good but yeah this definitely helps it runs my face up it stays on this but if anything <laughs> this really does stay on like before in the water and the water splashed up on my face this was the like everything else probably came off but this always stays on but i just bronze myself up because i don't sunbathe as well i don't like like the sun properly on my face like i'll i like bathing the sun for like, I don't know, five minutes or something. No longer than that, I just don't want it. I always prefer to bronze myself up and that's what I do. Again, bad lighting in here. I thought I'd do it in, in Coronado Springs just because I thought, you know, we're actually in Disney right now. But I don't know. Probably have to show you outside, but this is what it looks like. My brushes are just so random. I use mainly the Spectrum brushes. And my brushes are actually, I got this little kit ages ago, it's Snow White, it's a Disney, Disney Spectrum. Ooh, sugar plum. And then next, you actually can't get this anymore, it's actually been discontinued and I'm so gutted because it's my favourite. But it's the California by Benefit. Now, I've also got another one that I like that's quite similar to it um, by, is it Flower Beauty or something? I think it is. That's still around, but... That's what I do for my my blush. It just gives me that nice little colour. I do notice that when I don't actually have my blusher on, I do notice like my face looks a bit dull. But then next is this. I got this ages ago. Um, this is by MAC. It's called Show Gold. Show Gold. And it is just a pinky goldy highlighter that I just highlight the main points. Like I know I don't like my nose being too oily, but I just sometimes put some on my nose. I'm so random guys. But yeah, I just pop them mainly in the highlights, like where I know the sun's gonna hit. So the sun hits like here and here and that's where. Because I'm so used to it now as well, literally just takes me 10 minutes, no longer than 10 minutes. But because obviously I'm talking at the same time, kind of in a rush as well, because we're getting to Magic Kingdom. We're gonna go watch the fireworks tonight so excited to watch happily ever after again but this is the revolution brow kit it is in medium brown i only mainly use the powder i needed a new one i think i like it i like the shade for my eyebrows and then i've got this by uh the beauty crop it's bff now trust me guys i'm so sorry this is manky this actually doesn't come brown this comes see-through like clear but because I use it like every single day and I put powder on my brows, it's med the gel inside brown. A bit manky, isn't it? But this is really good if you want to set your brows and not have them any, anywhere else. Like this keeps them in place. It's amazing. And then because it's nighttime, I mean, it's, it's a hit or miss. But I actually just pop on a little bit of bronzer on my eyes. This is a small one by NARS that I kindly got given by a beautiful girl who I work with for my leaves do. But yeah, love that. She's the best. Thank you so much. You know who you are. <laughs> so this is in the Laguna. Now I think it's a bronzer, but um, it's just a little mini test, like a sample one of the bronzer I think, but I put it on my eyelids because I think it looks really nice. Okay, next is mascara and then I'm just gonna put my eyelashes on and then I'll show you the finished result. So about to put my eyelashes on, I thought I'd just do one on camera. Now lashes of course are not essential, like I could literally go out with this with mascara on. I've been told before that I look well better without them, but you know what, I don't care, it makes me happy. And it's all about happiness here, it's how I look. So I love these light eyelashes. To be honest, I do kind of get some compliments on my eyelashes though, apart from the odd, you know. But um, these are the Beauty 199 lashes. I just get them off um, Instagram, I think it is. Um, it's the Lashes Nora. I'm just gonna get my mirror. Now the technique for lashes, if you don't know really how to put them on a lot, like I know a lot of people that still don't know how to do lashes, but the technique is to really keep get your lashes you put the glue on first and then you wait you don't go straight on with the glue it's better to keep your lash get your lashes very tacky first so i've just popped this glue on and i just keep making sure and it's when the glue goes more lighter 
I use the Eyelore 18 hour lash glue as well and this lash glue is so good. I used to use the duo glue but um, I had a bad reaction to it just randomly one day after using it for so many years, I don't know why. But yeah, I just had a bad reaction. So I just stuck with the Eyelore and it's the only one that seems to really keep my eyelashes on. Can you see the difference? Like I feel like without my eyelashes on, my lash, like I look naked. Like I feel a little, ugh. I feel really nice with them on. So that's why I like to wear them. Um, but yeah, the, gl the glue is, cause it's extra tacky now. Cause I've waited and then not just put my eyelashes on. It um, helps, it helps the, helps you do them a lot more easier. So I'm gonna pop the other one on now. Yeah. Eyelashes on. So after that, that is kind of it. That's basically it. I will just add some lip gloss on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Gloss. The thing that I love about makeup is you can take it off. You don't need it all on either. But you know what? As long as you, it makes you happy, you go ahead and you do whatever you want. If you want to have makeup like me to the parks, go ahead. I feel like the parks nowadays as well, it's just nice to make a little bit of appearance for me personally. Like I feel like if I make a little bit of appearance and I wear like nice dresses and it's like, I don't know, I feel like a princess and the magic comes alive, like it's really nice. But if you're the complete opposite because you don't have to, and you just go to the parks, you just enjoy yourself and you don't wear any makeup whatsoever. Either way, you look beautiful. As long as you're having a good time, it doesn't even matter what you look like in general anyway. And nine times out of 10 guys, the honest thing is nobody's really paying attention to you anyway. Not really. If anything, if they are, they're probably looking at how beautiful you look. That's what they're doing. So that is gonna be the finished result. And also, depending on the day, so if I feel like it's gonna be a really hot day and I feel like I really, really need that extra boost, I will put the All Nighter Urban Decay on. This is such a good, such a good setting spray. But if I feel like I want it to last still, but I just want it more lighter, I don't wanna feel like I've got makeup on. This is really good. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. And it just sets my sets my face and makes it like nice and glowy. So I'm gonna pick out my outfit for tonight and then I'll show you my finished result. All right, this is the finished result. I've got my thing. I'm gonna leave my hair down to dry naturally in the Florida heat, if it's hot outside. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna add, add some bronze goddess. Now, I'm not gonna lie, out here I can't really smell it. I don't know what it is like i can smell it on me right now as i'm spraying it but then after a bit i just can't smell it but at home i can but that's what i've got out here and i'll show you so yeah this is the finished kind of a result courtesy by scott so this is what my makeup looks like i'm trying to find like a good place but hopefully this is all right yeah it's very lightweight can't really feel like i've got any makeup on i can touch it it's not sticky i just think it's perfect so yeah i'm looking forward look at that beautiful coronado springs and this is what my room looks like now, if you haven't, if this is the first video you've seen and you've not seen any of my vlogs and you like Disney vlogs, then I have uploaded some Disney vlogs. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to tonight at Magic Kingdom. I've got my, I'm gonna get my sketches on, of course. But yeah, I feel very nice and happy. We're off to watch the fireworks, so I'm really excited. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And yeah, that's my, uh, my makeup routine. So thank you so much for watching Bestie and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.